You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another epic episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and this is episode 544. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. It is Monday, and we hope you're having a fantastic uh, day and that you had a great weekend. And if you're living the drone life, every day is a good day, and Monday is probably the best day because everyone's at work and you're doing what you love with a lot less people around. And if you get hungry, (laughs) you've got to check out our friends at Charky because it's all natural grass-fed lamb jerky. Makes you feel good, it tastes good, and it's very, very healthy. So make sure you check it out on Amazon Charky. They have three flavors, sweet and spicy, my personal favorite, red chili and salt and pepper. For all of you people who are paleo and have sugar intolerance, salt and pepper is the way to go. But with just four ingredients on the sweet and spicy and the salt and pepper, it makes for a simply delicious snack. Make sure to check it out, charky, C-H-A-R-K-I dot love. Yes, that's a website. Or you can just search for it yourself and get it on Amazon. Also, big special thank you to our friends at unmannedsas.com. If you broke your drone, you have got to check them out. Unmannedsas.com forward slash drone you. And for $29.95, they'll fix your drone. They'll ship it to you. They'll stay in the United States. And it's probably going to be fixed by a veteran. So you're helping out some very cool people who have done a whole lot for us. Check them out. Unmannedsas.com forward slash drone you. Rob, why don't you go ahead and play that funky question? (laughs) Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I got a question. All right, so I was looking at the Drone Deploy app, and for the NDVI analysis, is that is there a camera that does the picture like it does, or is there a satellite on the app or the website that does it for you? I can't find any info on this. I know it's possible, but I'm not sure how, how it works because I got a Phantom 4 Pro. And I I need to know if I need an extra camera or the app itself will do it for me. All right. Well, thank you guys for what you do and I hope to hear an answer soon. This is a creative question. We haven't had this one before. And uh, I think um, our buddy here is kind of maybe moving up into some different stuff. It's good for him. Definitely. I think that's a great thing. And NDVI is a very cool technology that is really able to measure... Uh, plant vegetation index simply by measuring how much light is being reflected and absorbed. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see if I can pull up this picture really quick. If I understand it directly, um, essentially the way what it's doing is measuring the amount of near infrared light uh, based off of how much red light is being absorbed and how much near infrared is being reflected back. Then we can actually tell how healthy our plants are because the less near infrared light that we get back, we know the less healthy the the crop is as a whole. That being said, you can buy a Phantom 2, a Phantom 2 with an H3 3D gimbal that holds a GoPro, and you can put a lens cover Uh, for NDVI on a GoPro for really cheap. The data you're going to get, though, is not going to be that accurate. So by a little, very cheap, a couple hundred bucks, maybe? Um, I think the well, you're going to have to buy a GoPro, so 300 bucks there. And then then the lens uh, from, I think it's PAL or Poe Productions, 100 bucks there. Okay. Uh, So you're at 400 um, plus the drone itself, so you're at 800 bucks. Now, here's the thing. He asked, I've got a Phantom 4 Pro, and how can I get an NDVI upgrade to that? Well, there's a company called Sentara, and they created the NDVI single sensor that transforms the Phantom 4 Pro into an easy-to-use precision scouting tool. Now, the quality that you're going to get is going to be a little bit better with this system, but the price point is also going to be significantly higher as well. Just the upgrade itself is 2400 bucks. Which is essentially for the camera. It's essentially for the camera to pop on the back of the Phantom 4 Pro. Now, the data you'll get is going to be pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, Again, not the best because different plants actually give off better information depending on the type of camera that you're using. 
And you can get NDVI filters for lots of cameras. So if you've already got a 3DR drone with, say, an A5000, or uh, you've got a gimbal drone with, a say, a 70D camera, you can go to Lens Rentals and rent an NDVI camera to go on your existing gimbal, and that's a quick and easy solution. But I would say the ultimate solution for again, a minimal price point, is probably going to be the Parrot Sequoia camera because the Sequoia is actually five separate cameras that utilize all of the data from each separate camera and put it together mm -hmm. to give you actionable information. Interesting. Okay, so specifically the answer to his question is that, yes, you're going to have to have a camera. Drone Deploy is not going to be able to, or any other app such as Don't Drone Deploy can't do this using the standard camera on the P4 no, you, Pro, you, for you've example. You've got to have the hardware for the software Correct. to actually have the right, the right data. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, well, that was his question. Um, do I have to have a separate camera? And the answer is... Yes. Yes, indeed you do. And the cheapest solution is a Phantom 2 with NDVI filter on a GoPro. Um, you know, if you're a farmer just getting started, you can totally do that and get and get good, actionable stuff. But if you want much better detail, uh, you're definitely going to need to get a better camera platform. So I really wonder what the incremental value is for the more expensive camera in terms of actionable information that the lesser cost camera is going to give you. I mean, if you can take the appropriate action with that. I just think it's going to be about the accuracy for where there are bad plans and what you would need to do to fix that. Yeah. So that accuracy could be inches, it could be centimeters, it could be millimeters. Um, and again, if you want a really accurate camera, you can just check out, um, oh man, their name is slipping me for a Precision Hawks multi-spectral camera. Okay. But that's going to set you back probably 40 grand. So a bit of a step up. <laughs> But something, you asked. <laughs> but something in that uh, 2000 to $2,500 range, for example, if he's looking at developing a business around this technology, is not a lot. No. I mean, I would think you could make that up relatively quickly doing this kind of work for farms out in the area. And if you're a farmer, this is probably the, the, the good base level to get in to really get actionable data from a drone. Um, so if you are a farmer, if you're, if you're growing some, let's say you're even a vineyard, this is a great place to start in understanding mapping and drones and what can be seen and what can't be seen. I say this in my presentations all the time, the human eye can only see 1% of all light and with these cameras we can see up to 30%. So we have a lot more data to solve problems that we didn't even know were solvable because we didn't know there were problems. So Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, anyway, guys, it helps create more efficiency around around uh, everything. But that's going to do it for us today because I'm getting hangry, which means it's time for some Ooh, charky. You don't want that. No, you don't. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You.